guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on the video we are back with you with the after the theater watch we're still the theater parking lot we just saw uh the latest 007 film daniel craig's last time reprising the role the iconic role of james bond uh he has been playing him since 2006 with casino royale and this is the final one no time to die and this is going to be a spoiler free review except for the end credit but we'll get to that later on don't mm. don't, don't let me forget about that i loved it i liked it uh i really enjoyed it i I think I've seen some of the other ones. I'm almost positive I'm pleased I've seen a few of them. Maybe with the other James Bond, but not, maybe not, maybe. not with Daniel Craig. I don't think so, maybe. But I'll fix that today. <laughs> Do you feel like you were lost? No. Okay, because this one does. Well, 007, yeah. I don't really feel like you can really be lost. Uh -huh. I mean, they kind of give you uh, like, a little, like a little enough bit, clues? Uh, yeah, enough oh. clues, enough backstory, or enough information that you're not lost. Like it could be a standalone film. Yeah, because uh, this one does uh, take place or pick right up right after Spectrum, which is the latest. I think it was like 2015. I kn I know you said no spoilers. Just everybody take a box of Kleenex. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can say. I really enjoyed it. It, I, I feel like uh, this might be my favorite one kind of not really like it's, <laughs> like parts of it is be like my favorite but oh you know how there's some parts where mm -hmm. you're like oh it, it could have been still different skyfall? yeah, yeah. I, I really like skyfall i did cry not as much as these two <laughs> but i really love those stunts and all the cars and all Guns. I'm like, but that's double awesome. seven I know, for but you. it's still yeah. like it was done good. I mean, yeah, it's, there's, it's done good. There's there's others that suck that are bad. Oh no, something funny. This guy tripped in front of the stuff. <laughs> Poor guy. You didn't see him? Who? Look, I, I see a guy that was coming up. Oh, yeah, I saw, yeah like, I saw him. I had to see Look, yeah. I was like, I'm sorry. Yeah, you were talking to her. Are you okay? Yeah. So I have seen all of Daniel Craig's movies, but I think I only saw them like when they first came out in theaters. I do enjoy these movies, but they're not like high on my rewatch priority list. I did want to rewatch these because I did want to rank Daniel Craig's Dream Bond movies. I just. I just didn't get a chance to. Maybe later on in life, look out for it. It'll be like one of those random ranking videos. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, this, this definitely was like a great send off for Daniel Craig. I even liked uh, Billie Eilish's song. Uh, that whole opening credit scene, I I I dug it. But it is a long movie, it's a little over like two hours, two and a half hours, something like that. I didn't actually feel the length of the movie until like maybe there towards the end because I really had to pee. Oh, while I'm still thinking about it, the end credit, there's technically an end credit scene like no. card it's really not worth it i'm gonna go ahead and let you know what it is um so spoiler alert on the end credit but again it's not really an end credit it just says james, james bond, bond will return. return that's it so there's no i was like this is what i say for i know there's characters from uh the previous films also that are in uh this particular one rami malik i really uh like him as well he's always like this weird kind of character even in, he was kind of like weird and off also like in um was it called uh, Breaking Breaking Dawn? <laughs> uh, that's yeah. uh, actually where I first remember seeing Rami Malek was in Breaking yeah, Dawn. Yeah, that's I'm like, oh, hold on. Yeah, that's him. In case you're not aware, uh, they're supposed to make the new 007s oh. a female. I didn't really like her that much. I was just like, I wasn't feeling her. No, at all. Like, I don't know if I would want. No, I I don't want to see a standalone film with her, and not because she's a woman. I really don't care. I would have preferred to see Ana de Armas because I thought she was awesome. I love Ana de Armas. Like she was kicking ass in a beautiful dress, plunging neck nine and like some heels. Some, those long slits. Long slits. She was kicking ass. I loved it. Before we do give you our, our score, which I'm pretty sure you're gonna understand. Yeah, know what are you uh, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget uh, to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post something new. Uh, 13 Nights of Fright is coming up, you guys. And this is why you're only going to be getting, uh, besides this movie review, the other one will be due for the month of October. But with that said, should we say it? Oh, 
we are all in agreement, right? Yes. Okay. Uno, dos, tres, more popcorn. popcorn. I feel like we're still not in sync. Any food. This is definitely worth a watch. Um, it is only available in theaters. This is another one that was pushed back because of the pandemic. I think the original release date was supposed to be like April 2020. There's probably gonna be people that are gonna be upset about the particular ending that it has, but I feel like it was just a better sweet ending yeah. for it. And I truly enjoy it. All right, if you've seen uh, No Time to Die, let me know down below what did you think about it. <laughs> did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Did you need some tissues or not? All right, guys, until next time, I'll see you guys at Confessions. Bye.